Good afternoon all. Um, this is a quick video to show how a plugin called CSV export works for uh, WooCommerce. Um, I've installed it on this fabulous website I created uh, and you can find it under WooCommerce CSV export. Now there's two types of reports you can run. Uh, the first one is if you go to the export tab here and leave it on orders, you can run an orders report. That orders report you can filter on status, so all the orders which are completed for instance. Uh, you can filter it on category, so all the categories we've got in our um, system, or a specific products, uh, or a start date or an end date. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to click on export and I'm just going to export all the products and uh, orders uh, we have created so far. So that will go away and create the report and then once that's finished uh, you'll see your export is ready and also it'll automatically download it which is fantastic. So if you then open that CSV you'll see that you'll have pretty much all the columns you would like um, in that CSV. So we would have things like uh, first name, last name, email, phone, invoice date, invoice number, order status, what product they bought, how many of the products those bought and what the price was. And I've added on there the concession column as well. Um, so that's really easy to export that way. Now if you would like then you can actually run a customer's report as well. Um, but I'm gonna just leave that because that's not something you guys might be interested in but what you can do for that orders um, export type here you can change the number of columns in there and that's in custom formats so if you click on custom formats at the top here then you basically have three different custom formats which will come up and you can see those links here orders customers and coupons which is exactly the same options as the exports up here um, so I would leave all these settings alone because they're all fine and then down here you have the columns we used um, and you can say I want to add a column and I want to have in there the hmm, uh, let me say the notes the order note which came with it. So you type in note and then down here you filter all the columns you can do into not night but note. So that's an order note in there and then you click on save. So that's the way you add a column to that particular order um, report. <laughs> um, so once that's saved we can go back to the export tab and then in the export tab we can basically re-kick off that orders type of export so I'll do that and I'll run that and that should have added a column in there saying order note because I know some people are using that for, the, for WooCommerce which is great so that's now ready I'll click on done and then I can actually open that up down here and then what you should have is the same report we had but now we've got an order note added to uh, that so we said PDT completement, VAX payment, all that kind of stuff so the order note is on there which is great um, so it's that simple if you want to um, go back to report you've already run then there's an export list option um, that basically shows you all the reports you have run and then you can download those which I think is a nice option as well um, so you've got we've run two orders and you can re-download them if you want to um, so completely flexible whatever you want to run just use the export uh, tab there to actually run the reports um, and that could be of type order type customer or type coupons and then down here in customer formats you can change the columns you want to have on that report. Um, hope that makes sense and um, if not let me know. Okay all the best, good luck, bye.